This is a model of maxillary and mandibular arch in which you can see the position of maxillary central incisor in the oral cavity. These two are the maxillary central incisors. This is the most prominent tooth in the oral cavity. It is the widest tooth mesiodistally than any other anterior tooth. This is the mesiodistal dimension and according to this, it is the widest tooth mesiodistally than any other anterior tooth. Now keeping the model side, these are the models of the individual central incisors. The calcification of this tooth initiates around 4 to 5 months after birth and the enamel formation completes at the age of 4 to 5 years. The maxillary central incisor erupts in the oral cavity around the age of 7 to 8 years and the root formation completes at the age of 10. This is the contact area. The crest of curvature mesially is near the mesoincisal angle, this one, while distally is towards the cervical line, here, where it contacts with the maxillary lateral incisor. The mesial outline is only slightly convex with sharp mesoincisal angle, while the distal outline is more convex with less sharp, little rounded distal incisal angle. The incisal outline is usually straight as the mammillons obliterates. The cervical line is semicircular. The root of this tooth labially is cone shaped. Here we can see it is making a cone with blunt apex. The lingual aspect is not regular as that of labial and has got convexities and a concavity. The outline of the cervical line is semicircular as that of labial aspect but immediately below the cervical line is a convexity here you can see which is called cingulum. Continuous with the cingulum these are the marginal ridges termed as mesial and distal corresponding to which side they are present. This concavity here you can see just below the convexity which is known as cingulum. This is known as lingual fossa which is bounded by the cingulum on the superior side and on the lateral sides bounded by the marginal ridges. The crown and root lingually taper means if we see from the labial aspect coming towards the lingual it forms a taper resulting in narrower lingual portion than labial. The crown is wedge shaped or triangular here you can see the cervical line making the base of the triangle and the apex of the triangle is made at made by the incisal ridge this one this is the base and this is the incisal ridge the incisal ridge of the crown is on a line with the center of the root this one if we make a line through the center of the root towards the incisal ridge The labial outline is slightly convex from the crest of curvature to the incisal ridge. This one here you can see it is slightly convex. The lingual outline is first convex at the cingulum, then becomes concave at the marginal ridges due to lingual fossa and then again becomes slightly convex at the incisal ridge. The cervical line curves incisally to a greater degree. 
here you can see it is curving towards the incisal and it curves to a greater degree the root is cone shaped again here it is cone shaped with a blunt apex there is a little difference between the mesial and distal aspects of this tooth the crown from the distal aspect looks somewhat thicker and this is due to the slope of the labial surface linguo distally the cervical line curves to a lesser extent than that of mesial here you can see if we differentiate keep this both the surfaces this is the mesial one here you can see it is curve it curves to a greater degree and in distal surface it curves to a lesser degree the labial face of the crown as you can see here this is the labial face it is relatively broad and flat in comparison with the lingual surface this is the labial surface and this is the lingual surface the lingual portion tapers lingually towards the cingulum as you can see here this is the labial surface when coming towards the lingual it tapers towards the cingulum as you can see here the taper and also the taper from this side towards the cingulum the labiolingual calibration of the crown this is the labiolingual calibration it is two third more than that of mesiodistal this is the mesiodistal means the ling this calibration is two third more than that of this calibration